New surveillance video showing Michael Zehaf Bibo dashing from the National War Memorial just moments after he shot and killed Corporal Nathan Cirillo. Then he jumps into a car and drives around the corner to the Parliament building with Canadian police on his tail. The video shows Bibo as he gets out of the moving car, rifle in hand, and enters the Parliament building. I can tell you that as he gets to the door of the center block, there's an exchange of gunfire with the House of Commons security officers. Our officers uh, back up slightly as that uh, shooting takes place and then pursue him inside. Now we're learning more about the man believed to be behind the terror on Parliament Hill. I can tell you that uh, we do have uh, now information that suggests an association with uh, some individuals who may have shared his radical views. Sources tell CNN Bibo had connections online to other Islamic extremists living in Canada. One of them, this Canadian man, who officials say traveled overseas to fight alongside terrorists in Syria. Clearly, there's a, there's a concern that this could occur again, that someone else will try another attack, especially when there have been two so close together. Someone could easily make a calculation that another attack could really cripple Canada psychologically. And now, the FBI is searching databases and communications for links between Bibo and jihadists living in the U.S. after learning he's visited the United States several times. Canadians travel to the United States all the time, and the fact that he was here doesn't necessarily mean that he was planning something nefarious. We need to know what the time frame is uh, as to when he was in the United States. CNN has learned the 32-year-old Canadian-born gunman had a history of drug problems and eventually converted to Islam. Canadian authorities apparently had him on their radar and put his passport on hold after learning he wanted to travel to the Middle East to fight. Tonight, Canadian investigators are piecing together how Bibo was able to enter the Parliament building and open fire, injuring three inside.